Jack goddamn Daniels. Drink like a motherfucking man. Because you're in malt liquor hell, why? That's all you can really do. Pinky out. Label out. If I can say, I, I would say that's a nice pile of garbage right there, boy. That's a nice, stinky heap of trash. The New Yorker sofa, okay? It almost this is called the New Yorker sofa. <laughs> it's a New York bean bag. Oh, no. Exposed 2016. Yep, 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 There's yep, a yep. muffins right next to you. Let me <laughs> Can we get it? State income tax. Steel Worldwide's proud of his car inspection. That's a Northeast thing. Only fucking people in the Northeast pay for car inspections. You don't do that shit here. By the way, Steel Worldwide, when you want to film yourself driving down your shithole uh, highway, do yourself a favor. Cover your bases. Once again, cover your bases. For fuck's sake, man. You're sloppy as hell. Film the goddamn road sign that says that you were 20 miles inside of the state of Pennsylvania. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 oh, yes, oh, yes. You're not even in New York, you fucking liar. Got your ass. You ain't even in New York. You ain't even a New Yorker. You ain't even a, you ain't even a Canadian border upstate New Yorker. You're a fucking fake. You're a fake, motherfucker. Fake. Stop trying to be a New Yorker. You ain't a New Yorker. You're a loser in flyover country in the middle of Pennsylvania where they make cheese and shit. Cover your bases, man. God, you're sloppy. But yeah. Short Staff Jewing wanted to call me out for the first time ever. I've been making videos since 2013. Wonder why that is. Hmm. Couldn't be that you're white knighting Steel Worldwide, is it? Because Steel Worldwide is fucking crumbling like a fucking sack of rocks. 
No, that couldn't be it. You're not white knighting Steel Worldwide. You're not in damage control. It's just one big circle jerk. One goes down, the other one jerks the other one off. The other one goes down, the other one jerks the other one off. Good God. both have the short man syndrome. There ain't no denying that. Oh, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> oh my god. Still alive. The midget wants to threaten me with violence. Which, by the way, man, hey, you could, uh, all day long, man. That's fine, but just be careful what you put out there, man. That's all I'm saying. You're putting out some fucking heinous shit. You know, real life shit. You better, you better be careful. But, like, what are you gonna do anyway? Fucking bite my ankles? What are you gonna do? Nothing. Not gonna do nothing. And fall, fall staff, short staff, tries to come off as this ladies man, you know, building himself up, blowing up some hot air into his fucking sweatshirt. Ordinarily the ladies compliment me on my length. <sighs> Talking about your lady watches my videos when you're passed <laughs> out in a puddle of your own urine, you fucking slob. She wants to get with the real man. That's true because we just came from a fucking pub and some lady just damn near sucked his cock right in front of me. Mid conversation, like, hey, Falstaff, how's it going? Oh, I'm doing well. And she just walked up to him and just fucking started grabbing his shit. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Everyday occurrence. I want to know would you ever date a guy that was shorter than you? No. No way? Probably not. Okay. Oh, no, probably not. Okay, how about you? No short guys. No. 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 No, never. No, I'm already pretty short, so. Okay, how about you? No, absolutely not. You would not. never date a guy that was short. Nope, than you. absolutely not. No. no. No way? Not a chance. No. I love your lipstick. <laughs> Thank you. How about you? You're kind of tall. How tall are you? Never. I'm 5'9. I would never. So you would never. I feel like a mom. Can't do it. Hell no. No. Hell no. Straight up, fuck no. Would either of you girls ever date a guy shorter than you? Uh, no. No. Uh, no, not me. <laughs> I'm already short. No? No. Never? Never. Good at night, this is not good. I am kind of a midget. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. give a fuck. I'm just a very oh, uh, big guy. Oh, big guy. Killing us with the bullshit. One New York Jew to another, you're killing us with the bullshit, man. And and you're a rich Jew too. You're a rich Jew. But I doubt that with your Lincoln Park job stopper tattoo sleeves. I become I can find you there. Begun so times. I'm pretty sure when it comes down to it, the promotion does not sway in your favor. Just saying. And Florida's a shithole. Let's look at the blueprint real quick. A couple of holes in it. Florida's a shithole because it can't get 40 ounce. That's what Steel Worldwide said. It's a shithole because you can't get 40 ounce. 
That means what? That means, according to that logic, 32 ounces are no good. 22 ounces are no good. Malt liquor is being called inferior because it's not in a 40 ounce bottle. He's pointing at malt liquor saying that it is inferior, that it is not good enough. He is pointing to malt liquor, let me repeat, he's pointing to malt liquor saying it's not good enough. Speaking of not good enough, part of that blueprint says you, in order to follow it, it's because you're saving yourself from your shitty self. Which means, everybody that partakes in the blueprint is admitting that they're a shitty, they're a shitty self. Everybody. Think about it. Everybody says that they're a shitty self. Holes, poking holes. <laughs> I saw you hanging out with brown bag. Short staff. How is it possible that you are shorter than a Mexican? How is that fucking possible? That's amazing. You know, a little trick photography wouldn't hurt in this instance. Again, covering the bases aspect of it. A little trick photography would have went a long way. You know, you could stand on the back of one of brown bags families or well you might slip I don't know also false death don't wear a baseball hat especially when standing next to a taller Mexican than yourself you look like you're 12 years old with that hat on brown bag when you guys went outside to take a leak did he have his pants around his ankles Steel were allowed to be starting from scratch. You knew that all the cards were falling and you started. Then you started fucking telling everybody to fuck off. Everybody. Because you knew that if you didn't fucking save any face at all, you'd be a total bitch. Which you are. You're a total bitch. You're also a beta male because you're not a good leader. If you were a good leader, you'd have people following you, but everybody is falling away. Which makes you a beta male. Food for thought. Oh. You know what kind of started this ball rolling a couple of years back was this guy right here. Mr. Healthy Pay. Made this great video. Well, Jacobation did a lot. He he really tore you just made you look like a fool, but um, whatever happened to him, I don't know. Um, but Hal Toupee, when he made that video where he was pissing in a, in, in a bowl with a ski mask in it, that was just glorious. That was glorious cinematic footage. And that was dedicated to you, sir, at that time. Filmed in Austria, 1971, probably the greatest rendition of Mozart's Requiem series. Well, like I said, you know, there's other contenders for a new chairman. My vote would be for Mr. Rayner if you know holds any water. I'm in malt liquor hell. And by the way, whoever does become the new malt liquor chairman. Please just fucking leave me in malt liquor hell. That way, I can continue to do whatever the fuck I want to do. I can keep fucking with whoever needs to be fucked with. Whoever deserves to be fucked with. Uh, dutifully. But, um... Yeah. Once again, 
to the fucking perp walk once again. The both of you. One with your pants around your ankles, one with a fucking urine, urine soaked ski mask. Do the fucking perp walk.